I have Keto Brisbane. This is the first video created from a request. So I've had a request for some stretching that is specifically to help with kicking. So uh, basically all of the stretching we do in class and after class is going to benefit if it's done properly and done often enough it's going to benefit kicking. But I think one of the things that um, led to this request might have been the fact that I quite often use stretches that can be uh, a benefit to certain issues, structural and, and muscular issues that we have that cause pain um, in our day-to-day -day lives. We have a lot of our students have to sit at desks and that sort of thing. Um, so I try to come up with stretches that helps with that as well as have keto. So a lot of our stretches, most of our stretches with our legs are um, always um, hip flexion and hip extension. Um, so we do our glutes and our hamstrings, we do our thighs, we do our hip flexors when we're down on the ground, like so. Um, but, and all of those will help with kicking. But I think when I get a request for a kicking specific uh, stretch, I think maybe what is happening is we're neglecting the adductor side of our, our hips. So the adductor is the muscles that draw our legs back in and stop our legs from um, falling out when we're trying to walk. So, uh, and that's these muscles up here. Not pleasant to stretch, not a pleasant feeling. Um, if you get a muscle there to release, it's not gonna feel as good as getting a tight muscle that's causing your back pain. It's not gonna, it's not gonna feel like that. Uh, and while you're stretching them, they can be quite uncomfortable to stretch. But I think um, on the other side of that, the, the kicks we do, when we do front kicks, high kicks from straight ahead, I think we're able to throw our leg and use a dynamic style stretch to get some benefit out of that. But it's probably when we want to do something like a comer chuggy, where we've got to turn around and we've got to get this angle here open. So, and that can be quite difficult to do. So what I'm gonna, what we're gonna go through here is a few stretches to help open that angle and make that angle wider and see if that can be a benefit to you. So number one is, I think it's called a butterfly stretch. Sitting down, feet together, um, soles of your feet together, and elbows pressing on your knees. And press down so you feel quite a stretch. To make it work better, you can push up with your knees and hold with your elbows, so resist with your elbows. Hold for five or 10 seconds and then release. When you release, you've got to push harder with your elbows. Do that two or three times. And try to get your elbows closer to the ground. And as your elbows get closer to the ground, try to get your heels further in as well. Always with it back up straight and nice, constant, even breathing. Another one for that is simply feet out in front. Now you can go sideways one way to start with. Try to keep this leg on the ground nice and flat. Don't cheat by letting it up so as you can reach further. Try to always reach this way rather than this way. It doesn't take quite as much to stretch this way as it does this way. Try a couple of those. And then forwards as well. So this is a good one for help for using the measurement system. So you can put your feet on, so mark where your feet go and see how far forward you can stretch. Make a mark there and see 
if you can improve that mark every second day, try these stretches every second day, or if they cause pain after the first one or two, then stretch, stretch only every three days. So once you've done that, we can do it standing. So standing will put a little bit more pressure on because there's weight as well as gravity. So be careful not to let your feet slide out too far and keep your feet pointing straight ahead. As you let your feet out, if you let your feet splay out, you'll cause it to work on a different muscle. So keep your feet pointing fairly straight ahead and try to get as low as you can. Obviously I'm not a good example for this stretch. And you have to hold this one for quite a while to make it effective. So more than 30 seconds, 45 seconds a minute, even longer if you can. Another good one for this is down on your sitting down in the crouch, crouch position and push out, push your knees out. Um, so on the ground, another gentle one, an easy one, just laying down, soles of your feet together and just let your knees come apart and let gravity work for you. If you find that's not enough of a stretch, just put your hands on. Then we can also do, so similar to our dynamic stretches at the start of class, this type of thing, this is the same stretch, this is stretching the same muscle and out wider even. So down into sitting on one heel and then over. Another one you can do is feet wide apart, out in front, out to the side, out behind, out to the side, out in front. So try a few of those. They'll help with kicks like Kama Chuggy, Dolio Chuggy, where as you're turning, you feel like this part of your uh, your thigh's got to come apart and the angle's not enough to do the kick as high as you'd like. So this will help with that. Don't forget, you have to warm up before you stretch. So even if you use dynamic stretches, dynamic stretches are just swinging within the range of motion of that muscle or those muscles. And you can go this way for your adductor. Should be holding on to something, unlike me. Uh, and also, you have to cool down properly. So when you've finished, your mus uh, finished stretching muscles, don't just shut off and go inside or go and do something. Go for a short walk or have a hot shower or a bath. Um, and don't do it one night and then leave it. You have to do it over and over to try and make those muscles longer. Thank you.